Hello everybody uh, and welcome to the channel again. I am kind of recording a few episodes in bulk at the moment because I'm going on a holiday soon and I still want to have videos coming out when I'm away. So I actually don't know when this is going up. But uh, we hit 700 subscribers not that long ago and hopefully we'll hit 800 soon. Now, let's just talk straight about Top Gun Maverick because this is one of the best cinematic experiences I've ever had. I've never seen a movie like this, ever, especially not in the cinema. This movie's use of practical effects, its use of the actual fighter jets, the way the cameras are set up in the cockpits, it really makes you feel like you're actually in the jet, which is kind of crazy. Uh, it's truly amazing. This movie is actually amazing. It takes Top Gun, which is a movie I personally really like. Uh, I, I've noticed a lot of people are saying, oh, I've no nostalgia for Top Gun, or it was fine, it was cheesy, it was just an amalgamation of the 80s. Like, yeah, it was, but I really liked it. I really did enjoy Top Gun for what it was. And I still think that this is far superior to the original, which is crazy because like, I probably like Top Gun more than the average person who has seen Top Gun likes Top Gun. But yeah, this is clear of Top Gun. So first of all, we have Val Kilmer. His use in this movie was excellent. I wouldn't have changed a thing. It was perfect. It was really good at tugging at your uh, your emotions, your heartstrings. It, Val Kilmer's usage in this movie is just perfect. Uh, and he's not the only character to come back because Miles Teller plays Goose's son, Rooster. That's something you knew, but uh, this will probably... This will be a spoiler review, but I won't spoil anything towards the end of the video, so I'll give you a heads up when I talk about spoilers. But Miles Teller plays Rooster the son of Goose and his relationship with Maverick is far more complex and emotional and well acted and you know there's charisma there just it's so much better than you would expect it is really good Miles Teller is a star I wish he was in more things he's really really good he's good at that acting thing he does he's good we have Jennifer Connelly who is playing I guess like a an old flame an ex of uh, Mavericks. She's not the same girl from the original Top Gun. It's not like they just recast her as the same character. It's a, it is a new character, but I feel like it kind of alludes to the fact that, it, you know, this new Penny character is the new Charlie. And, you know, say what you want about that and that whole thing. Jennifer Connelly is really good in this. Uh, she's not used that much, but I think that's okay because for a movie this big, in its stunts and its adrenaline it grounds itself quite well uh pun intended by the way it really does kind of pull your emotional heartstrings i've said that already so it's kind of weird i'm repeating that phrase random phrase to repeat in a video but it is really good at when the when the characters are you know back on the ground uh, things are quite grounded for them they have complex relationships with each other hangman is a character who has some really good development like he is a character i would happily see another top gun sequel with you know rooster and hangman especially i found the other fighter pilots they were all fun characters they like phoenix and bob they were like you know they were just they were kind of there for fun they were there for support obviously uh, th like they're not the deepest characters but they don't need to be because Rooster is quite a deep character. Hangman has a bit of development. John Hamm's character, who Cyclone, who wasn't in the original, but is kind of of that era. He is a, a really good character with some development. And John Hamm is really good. Obviously, he's John Hamm. So is Ed Harris. Obviously, he's Ed Harris. He's great. And yeah, obviously, Maverick is really good. When I saw this movie, one of my first thoughts afterwards, with Maverick in particular, was this is exactly how Kingdom of the Crystal Skull should have gone. That woeful uh, legacy sequel or requel or whatever of Indiana Jones. This is what it should have been. This is exactly how you treat legacy characters and new characters. I feel like Scream did an okay job, but I really think this is the perfect, this is the perfect legacy sequel. It is great what i loved as well was danger zone you know that song that we were all hoping would be in it of course is in it straight away and that's it 
And I think that's really good because it's kind of like, right, we'll give you all the, the danger zone, the, the planes landing, the, the big muscly guys high-fiving each other and playing pool and playing darts. And we'll give you that at the start. And then let's get into some character development. <laughs> but yes, as I said, the practical effects are amazing. The shots in this movie are amazing. The sound design is amazing. The music is amazing. The shots of the jets flying by in the cinema is fucking incredible. I hope this movie never leaves the cinema and I can just always go back and see it. I will literally be seeing it again next week. I love this movie. Uh, it's fantastic. It's really, really good. Well done, everybody involved. It really didn't, like, I had high expectations for it. It was quite high on my list of movies I was anticipating this year. But I also was worried because there were so many delays. But delays were so worth it because it is a movie that needs to be seen in a cinema with a crowd. It's not something that should go straight to streaming because it's an experience. This movie is literally an experience and it's a fucking great experience as well. It's really good. Top Gun Maverick is a really, really good movie. It's one of the best movies I've seen. It's one of the best movies of the 2020s for certain. It's one of the best action movies for certain. It's Tom Cruise's best movie probably. It, and he has a lot of good movies as well. This is a fantastic movie. This is so fucking good. Watch this movie. I hope this movie really does spark a new trend of like no CGI in movies or no green screen in movies because it was incredible seeing these practical effects and these practical stunts and these real fighter pilots and like the actors really suffering g-force in an actual cockpit with a, just, a, just a camera in the cockpit like that's amazing so fucking great honestly i hope this sparks a trend for movies to come action movies in particular i want to be see i want to be seeing no more green screen or, or the big dome thing i actually don't mind the dome I think this movie is one of the best movies I've seen in the cinema in a very long time. It's truly amazing. It is so fucking good. <laughs> uh, do you think I like it? And yeah, I'm, I'm not really going to get into any real spoilers, but I do think the ending was great. I th think it was incredibly tense. I'm still not really going to spoil anything, to be honest. Uh, but I just found the ending incredibly tense and really good. I like the way that it just kept building upon itself like The ending just got tense and then more tense and then more te like it really It really was built and structured really well. I really liked the ending and Yeah, hopefully We see these characters again uh, Because you know, I'm actually emotionally invested in these characters. They were really good really enjoyed this movie thank you so much for watching everybody uh if you're new please subscribe if you're not i don't know comment your favorite thing about this movie <laughs> and yeah this is being filmed when i've seen top gun maverick the day after it's going up quite a while later because as i said i'm going on a holiday soon so gotta be prepared Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.